So this was quite a complicated offseason here. In our draft glory with the Spokane Spooky Boys, we had, uh, well, some interesting things, like uh, an RFA drama that I had to solve, and uh, an unsigned guy here. It was Havanov was asking for way too much last season. Um, we did eventually lock him into a single year, six mil. He'll be RFA again, and we're going to try again uh, when he's off contract. He's an 89 overall, but like he was asking for like 11 and he he was like really hated the organization. Then in the off season, he was asking for under ten. Loved the organization, but during the resign phase, the game crashed. So I lost everything. Had to go back. And when I came back in, he hated the organization again. So just FYI, that organizational bar um is not uh, consistent. I think it's pretty random, which is yeah a bit unfortunate. But there you go. Here is what the team is looking like, uh, at least on the lines that sort of things. It's not looking too bad, actually. <laughs> things are things are looking up for this team. As we take a look at how we're running the power play as well. Um, wait a sec. That's no. Why do I got double playmaker here? That ain't happening. Okay, that was in, yeah. Let's do that. Second unit. Clubber Tan, Sniper, and then who'd I take off? Petrolinen? Yeah. You can go on the second one. Maybe. If I can find him. There he is. Alright, let me just make sure the... Uh, oh my god. Minus file? Because they got the fucking grinder in here. No wonder. <laughs> Who's getting double shifted? Yeah, we kind of loaded up the top one. A grinder in there is horrendous. I might double shift Holland, but yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I'm gonna double shift Holland, I guess. I don't know, man. It's I just don't want that horrible of chemistry. Holland can take draws. But the, oh my god, it's still dude, what everyone hates the power play here. That's actually crazy. Yeah, like legitimately everyone hates the power play. Can Blair just make it not bad chemistry? No. We're just gonna have bad right, whatever, dude. I can't be bothered. I don't understand why everyone hates <laughs> everything here. Yeah, penalty kill. Most of the stuff I'm leaving best lines because, again, we're not trying to be that good yet because we don't have the tools. And I think our guys are going to play pretty decently together. For, you know, I don't know. For the most part. There's your goalie tandem. Not too bad. And we still have boss. And then I signed Barch, and he's down here. So that's going on there. There's not a whole lot else in the AHL. Like, if you look at the main lines, it's still bad. Like, everyone's coming up to the NHL. And these are all guys that we've drafted now. No more fillers on the NHL team. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I made a slight mistake, and I had to clear some cap room. So I did I did cheat a little bit to make a trade. So as to not lose someone, I I completely I forgot about when I tendered the guy. It, <laughs> I wasn't taking, when I was signing guys to fill up cap room, I wasn't taking into account, uh, <laughs> yeah. Needing to pay Havanov. Anyway, that's just a minor thing. The guy will be gone. And honestly, I, I gave, to punish myself, I gave up a top four prospect for it. You know? Uh, so there you go. I, I did have to do that. Okay, so. But yeah, that was to basically not lose Havanov or not be able to play him and waste a year of development. So yeah, that's what's going on here. We're going to set some season goals now. And Havanov needs a GDX factor for shooting. So that's what we're going to be doing here for him. We'll try to get him snipe. Yeah, 30 goals. It's going to be easier than 15 power play goals for sure. And he needs a shooting ability. So we're doing that. Blair already has snipe. Remember, he shoots a lot. He's on the power play. He might be able to get all those power play goals. Yeah, his his faceoffs kind of suck. So does So does his awareness. I don't, there's nothing to boost awareness really here, though. So, honestly, I'm going to go for... Try to get him 1T as well. 15 power play goals. He's on the top unit. He's actually double shifted, so, like, he should get this. Well, I mean, our team could be pretty awful. Holland. Oh, he has no passing ability. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, he's so weird. Why Why are ever, Why are people obsessed with getting skilled up in this game? Ugh. Annoying. Okay. Um, we should still be able to get him a gold. Oh no! 
Oh, you oh you have to have the X Factor first to actually that sucks. Really? That sucks. I mean, I could go in and manually change him, which honestly I might do because this is atrocious. His X Factors are fucking atrocious. Like they're absolute garbage. And I don't know what I want to give this guy. I can't even give him. Yeah, I can't do anything. I have to just go with like a stat challenge here. And passing is kind of fine already. Like, ugh. But whatever, we'll make it better. 50 assists, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we'll just make him an absolute G. Alright. Petrolinen, you, sir. Yeah. What the heck do I even give you? X Factor, yeah. May maybe, yeah, I don't know. Try to get this guy an X Factor. Alright. Uh, third eye, 40 assists. Yeah, I, I could see him getting 40 assists where he's at, but he could also miss it. He's only an 82, to be fair, but he is playing with two snipers, so. Hey, yo. Clever chance his face off suck. His shot's good. He's aware. Yeah, he's built a little weird, but yeah, he's 23. Who knows if this guy is even pans out, but he's up here for now. So, yeah. Looking for 30 goals out of Clever Tance. All depends on how much he shoots. Like, yeah, it really depends on how much he's going to shoot. Turnbull, same thing. I think we just start. Yeah, we, he needs a shooting ability, so we're going to start with Snipe, obviously. That's, that's a lot of guys we want to get 30 goals, but hey. It's definitely possible. They're all in the top six. Guys down here don't matter as much. I know Jams is, you know, he's there. His awareness sucks. I'm going to I'm trying to improve that stuff. You know, I can try to give him quick draw or something. He's a grinder, so quick draw would be beneficial for him. So I'll go for that. Why not? I think we I think he already had the glitch thing happen to him. I can't remember though. Emerson is another sniper. He's not going to get 30 goals where he's at, especially at a 72, so I'm not going to bother. Now, our defenseman, DuPont, actually got Bouncer, which is freaking hilarious. Like, that's honestly hilarious. But, yeah, we want to try to get him... I'd love to give him X-Factors, but he may just develop them on his own, although I really don't like how they... the X-Factors that these guys develop. Five power play goals is a definite possibility. But 40 is... They're both going to be tough for him in his first year. Five power play goals. I don't. I just don't know how much he shoots. 40 assists. They're all going to be kind of tough. But third... I do want him to have a passing ability for sure. Not that third eye is the best for a defenseman. But I don't know. Now Johansson on the other hand. Uh, we should have some data on him. He did shoot a lot. He got 10 goals. Only one in the power play, but... Like, if he shoots a lot, like, maybe he gets five power play goals. <laughs> maybe. So, he's the one I actually want to get seeing eye. He did shoot. So, let's try that for Johansson. As for Bartkowski, X Factor is going to be tough. Let's improve. Well, he needs to improve his sh stick checking a lot. Uh, no good X Factor for him, really. It's not really a great way to improve stick. Yeah, there's zero way to improve stick checking. So I'll have to do that on my own. Anyway, that'll be his goal. Prince. Again, needs stick checking. Everyone needs... All right, shot, shot blocking we'll have to do for now, though. These are, This is going to be pretty easy for them to hit, I think. Those shot block... It's just one shot block per game, and defensemen block hella shots in this game. So that's what we're going for. There you go. And really, we only care about Karpinen after that. Same thing for him. Just go with the shot blocks. And then I'm just not bothering for the goaltenders because it doesn't do anything. At least that I don't like it, If you guys know what it does, but I, it doesn't show it does anything. So I'm not going to bother. It's just a waste of time in my eyes. So yeah, we are now ready to go. And let's see what's going to happen here. I am going to auto-scout a lot of this again. Time is going to be a factor today. Just because of the whole crashes in the offseason. I do apologize for that, but 
Yeah, I don't know, but Auto Scout worked really well for us in the last Philly one. And yeah, this is Draft Glory. It does kind of suck to take it out of your hands a bit, but I'll, I trust myself. And our, you know, we've we've got quite a few good guys on this team. May I might be able to squeeze in one here, but yeah, all those freaking crashes this morning as I was trying to do all the offseason stuff was, well, yeah, it again wasted an entire, <laughs> wasted a lot of time. I'm talking like 15 minutes. <laughs> and I had the redo. So there you go. There's your scouting time. All right, but preseason looked pretty good. Preseason actually looked pretty good, but we'll see what happens in the regular season. I'm not expecting us to make the playoffs, but I don't know if, if we'll be last place. Although we're starting off pretty rough. <laughs> three games, three losses. Yeah, we might be last place still. We've improved, but probably not enough. We could best lines Burnaby. Um, we're not going to best lines the NHL because I did have to change things around for chemistry. So hopefully we just don't won't have injuries. Wait a sec, we're 500. Wait a sec. Could the Spokane Spooky Boys be bouncing up the standings? Maybe. Um, that was a minor injury. Oh my goodness. Hovering around 500. Fifth in the division. Above 500. Ooh, tough loss there, but we scored a lot. Oh my goodness. Oh, dude, I think, I think we may have it. We're in the playoffs right now. In the playoff race. Very early on. But we're in it to win it. Dude, like, goaltending's actually looking kind of good. It's inconsistent, but that's what you can expect from young goaltenders. But, like, we're above 500? At least for now. Again, a lot, of course. Havanov goes down with an injury. That's a tough one. I'm throwing whoever the hell. See, like, Jams already has the, the quick draw. That, that thing is so glitched in this game. Oh, crap. Why do I have... Oh, whatever. Got two defensemen here, apparently. He must be on the point here. Okay, yeah. Was that right-hander Vickland? Yeah. That's just a 7D, so I don't really care. I think I might be on like short on forwards. Uh, not the biggest of deals. Oh, it's doing the calendar glitch. Yeah, it wants us to uh, <laughs> scout again. I do apologize, but we'll check. I, I, I can, you know... Maybe at the end of the season before the draft, I could sneak something in and do some more target scouting. But yeah, it just uh, freaking crashes, man. I'm frustrated with that. But yeah, severely limiting my time this morning. Anyway, Havanov will go back in. Ugh, he wasn't even doing that good. He's interesting. Maybe maybe I just tender his ass again and try to... Well, no, no one picked him up this last time because I left him tempered all the way. No one even offer sheeted him. So that might be tough for us to gain additional picks by doing that. All right, I'm going to stop this because I want to follow what the heck is happening with this team. Hey, yeah, friggin' sim glitch. All right, come on. A lot of injuries to Burnaby. Come on. Friggin' Odin. Stop getting injured. You, you are a Norse god. All right, hanging on to a wild card spot, man. Like, we're, we're right in the mix. We are legit right in the... Really? That's the goal. Oh, now a goalie goes down with an injury. Unfortunate. Yeah, our starter, by the way. We'll call it boss. Not best linesing, of course. I love our acronym, by the way. I love that it's just boys. <laughs> Probably mentioned that before, but yeah, that was, a, that was a point of pride for me as I was creating this team. Because I was like, I don't know, SPO, S -P -O? that's weird. I was like, oh, I can just be boys. Because you can do, I think, a max of four letters. Anyway, continuing on here, we may lose a few more games here. Missing our uh, starting goaltender, Clubber Tans, minor injury, battles through. Yeah, we're still hanging on to a wild card spot. We don't have a fantastic record or anything, but we're holding on. And, you know, we're winning some tight games in here. I feel like scoring has disappeared a bit at times. Oh, my God, Odin. You fucking you made a glass. The Duke fully healed. Just, you know, he was, he was injured fighting again. Don't worry about him. Uh-oh. Starting to drop out. Oh, we're starting to drop out of that playoff race. We need Glenn back. We need Glenn back. We should not be really realistically sniffing the playoffs, but you know what? 
I like that we're starting to compete a bit. I gotta say, it is a nice feeling. Our hard work of sucking is paying off. Can't really call it work, but you know. You know what I mean. The suffering is paying off. Blair's up to an 86. Not seeing a ton of growth, though. At least off. Just right off the cuff there. On the quick look, I'm not really looking in depth. I mean, we've seen a couple overall ticks here and there, but who knows what that is. Uh, don't even... No, I didn't... I wasn't in the AHL, was I? Oh my god, I gotta stop the sim again. If it'll let me. Yay. What the heck? That, that was so weird. Alright. Back at it. Yeah, just we're just hovering around 500. Don't know if we'll make the uh, playoffs. Now nah, now we're below 500. Those are two tough losses. Goal, yeah, goals against bad. Goal scoring was fine. Oof. Uh-oh. We may be falling off the wagon here. Starting to really kind of slide downwards. A lot of minor injuries, though. Yeah. Like, we've only had to make two changes to our roster in the NHL, but we've had a few more injuries. It's been like Duke getting injured. <laughs> just, you know, just little tweaks here and there. He, he fights through it. Literally. He is our enforcer, even though we cannot change him to an enforcer. He has to stick as a two-way, which is dumb. Why can't you change guys to enforcers? If I got a guy who fights a lot, I'm just going to make him an enforcer. Uh, okay, Karpinen actually goes down. Another real injury. Eh, okay, Turnbull has a bit of growth. He was a little bit low. I think he was, yeah, started at 81, so... Oh, Prince has some growth. I saw that. He was 77. There you go. Oh, and oh my god, DuPont. Yeah, I'm playing both OFDs together, sue me. Hilarious that they only get a plus two. I mean, sure, because they're both OFDs, but, like, come on, man. It's max chemistry for both of them. <laughs> should, should be a plus three, man. Let's be honest. Wait a second. All right, we're back in the playoff hunt. Wait a second. Prince is back. And we are right... Wait, no, he wasn't the one out. And Blair's up to an 88. Yeah, it was... Ah, oh, crap. I got confused. I, rem I, I remember calling out his name. I thought he was the one who was injured. Nope. Karpinen, there he is. Karpinen is back. Petrolinen's a bit better. Even Clubbertans is a bit better. Again, I don't know how much... Uh, I don't know how much of that's, like, morale. Uh, and Karpinen is up. Dude! A low four panned out. I fucking love that story. That is fantastic. Wouldn't have given him the time. Oh, my God. And I'm pretty sure the uh, Johansson also has send it and tape to tape now. Oh, my gosh. How do I change him from an OFD with all that? Well, pretty simply, I just do it. But, yeah, he hasn't been up for it so far. I did test it again in the offseason. He wasn't up. He wasn't down. Uh, yeah, no trade deadline. Let's see some big trades. We're five games above 500 in regulation, by the way. Yeah, no big trades. Wait, wait a sec. Trade alert. It's all on the bottom. Marchenko for Ask. Oh my god. Sharks, what are you doing? You can tell that's not Mike Greer because that's a bad trade. Uh, Kessel. Going down, dude. We're, we're, we're in it. We're in it to win it here. We're, oh my god, we're going to make it. Oh, look. Yeah. Super, oh no, he's coming back from injury. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? I don't even think he's mine. I don't remember. Si I think that I think he just got shoved in there. Like by I, I should have had enough guys. I had forty guys, but I don't know. It's just giving me extra guys for no reason. Good God! I kind of didn't want to make the playoffs, but I think we're gonna make the playoffs here. <laughs> Which uh, just as well, I guess. Why? All right, Odin. W when does he get injured next? Over under. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> gonna say over under the end of the month. Does he make it to the end of the month without getting injured? Ah, oh, ooh, that's Glenn. Miss, no, no, not not the goalie Glenn. That's Mr. Blair. And Holland now has. Oh, of course he gains a gold, and I can't I can't change his goal. Oh, that's crap. <laughs> All right, we gotta shove a defenseman in here. LOL. Whatever. I don't care enough. We we can actually tank a bit. Like I'm not concerned if we miss the playoffs. <laughs> It would kind of be more beneficial for us, but we're probably not going to miss it at this point with the way we've been playing here. Wow, we even are sneaking out wins. Oh my god, we snuck out two defensive wins with Blair out. Yeah, we're making the playoffs, man. 
we are making the playoffs with this roster. Which, if you guys remember what my roster looked like with Philly when we missed the playoffs. Uh-oh. What? Wait a sec. Why is it? It should not be editing my lines whatsoever. I have to check that. Because I had it like this. And there was no way I best lines to anything at any point, right? Huh. Hmm. Yeah, it shouldn't have been doing that. Because I had that for chemistry reasons. I had Duke up there. Unless the minor injuries were... No, why would they be messing something up? Oh, Glenn, not again. Let me see. Is it is it changing it? No, it's fine there. That's so weird. Why was he there? there maybe I, by accident I hit best lines at some point. I don't think so, though. I might have to check the setting. It should be on none for assistant coach edit lines. But, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to check. Dude, we had a 40-win season. What was it last year? A 17-win season? Now we're at a 40-win season? Yeah, we're making the playoffs. And even if we lose out, I think we just clinched. We clinched. <laughs> Holy crap. We clinched, dude. Uh-oh. I gotta stop the sim. Because I'm pretty sure I simmed a day after that. There we go. In the playoffs. Wow. Straight up wow. That is actually insane. And I did do, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, because you guys didn't see it because I had to sim a couple days to lock in contracts. I did do the preseason focus. I gave us five on five focus to boost everyone's like awarenesses and stuff like that. Fuck deking. Who cares about deking? Awarenesses, puck control, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I did want to take another look at Johansson because he was asking for a bit too much. Or just, no, he was, ugh, yeah, he still wants stupid. He, this is exactly what he wanted. He wanted like no years and a high ass price and he still wants that. Screw you, buddy. All right, Kavanov, we can at least try to extend you. Mm. What is up with everyone not wanting this organization? You're so expensive. I'm going to have to wait on these guys, honestly. That's just... I don't know. Maybe they changed their minds. It's kind of tough. That's maybe the downside of a draft of glory. There's uh, not a whole lot of organizational interest. All right, I can get them RFA, but I have to overpay. Theoretically, that should be fine. It's a short term. But we're going to have to give him like six. No, we're going to have to give him more than that. Because he's not a huge fan of the organization right now. No one is. We'll see if he accepts that. I don't know, though. Ugh. Very, very unfortunate. This is a horrible, horrible contract. I can keep him RFA, but I have to... Yeah, I have to pay him a crap ton to do that. Which, yeah, I could... Oh, have enough. I need to. I need to hope that when when I exit out and then re-enter, their organizational bar goes up. <laughs> That's honestly what I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm hoping to cheese the game. It already screwed me over earlier. I'm, I'll cheese it in return. Yeah, I'll, I'll look to the off season to do that. Uh, you don't have to do them here, right? You know, it's a completely different contract system. There's no benefit to doing it here anymore. You can't do the twenty or fifteen percent trick or anything. But yeah, those guys might cost a bit, but eh, might be the price we pay here. Before we really look at much, oh my god, Blair had 94 points and 55 goals. Well, he got that gold 1T because he had 19 power play goals. Or sorry, not gold 1T, uh, just 1T in general. This guy is a freaking beast. And of course, Havanov did not get 30 goals. He doesn't, sh like, he shoots enough, but uh -huh. I don't know. Huh. Holland, by the way, is uh, awesome. And he got Oh, he would have got the freaking. If I could have told him to get next factor, but okay. Whatever, he still had 89 points. Kavanov had 69. Petrolinen, he got those 40 assists, so he got the uh, the I, 67 points. Turnbull, yeah, 57. Not bad. He was a new snipe. Oh, clever chance. Hey, he hit the 30 goals right on the mark. Got himself snipe. Oh, my goodness. You know what? This was a really good year for us in that way. Let's see. What? Oh, my God. Dupont. So Johansson completely shot. Oh, Dupont. What? Are, okay. You know what? No. Bounce back sucks. Wheels okay. Bouncer okay. I like that he has tape to tape and send it though. But uh, where's that production, dude? Johansson absolutely shot on him. Like he was like, I will show you how it's done, kid. He got zero pump. Of course, got zero power play goals. But you know what? He has. He also has tape to tape and send it. 
Oh my goodness. Bartkowski even outscored him. What the hell? What is up with my right shot OFDs getting outscored by other guys? Happened in Philly too. Goaltenders. <laughs> Yo, Glenn had a 9-12. <laughs> Five shutouts. Oh my goodness. That is kind of insane. Let's take a look around the league then. Oh, wow. 142 points for Bedard. 125 for McDavid. Yikes. And he's probably taking home... Is it Bertuzzi? Yeah, I was going to say. Bertuzzi's probably playing with him. There he is. Yep. He's probably taking home the Maurice. Oh, God. Chicago. Pretty sure they're... Yeah. Are they defending Santa Cup champs in this one? I forget. Marner. Ugh. Oh, man. That's a lot of us. That's a lot of points from a lot of people. <sighs> 16 game winners. Holy crap. <laughs> um, like math, like it's not mathematically has to be like up near 20, but that's ridiculous amount of game winners. If I can look at Nylander, there you go. He's probably the most clutch mathematically. Uh, 21 power play goals for Caulfield with 51 goals total. Um, 39 power play points for McDavid and Matthews, but only Matthews is a merchant. Um, three shorties for Sam Steele, Natchez and Appleton both had seven shorty points. And we'll take a quick look through the menu lag. Okay, Robert Thomas looking like the front runner. And he's probably just going to win it because if he's up there, he likely is going to win it. Shifley probably won't. Maybe he does, but Thomas Shifley. I was looking like the main guys. McDavid in the mix. Who is that? Barkov. Okay, three horse race. I'm already tired of the menu lag. Picture game. Um, All is right in the world. Kale McCarr will be taking home that Norris. And, oh my goodness. Glenn was third place in save percentage. Well, tied for third. But, uh, Harrison. <laughs> oh, look at that. 41-7-5. Uh, two shutouts. 9-20. Oh, my God. Just give him all the hardware. Just give him all of it. Just give it all to him. Uh, Kate Jocelyn. Gold all alone. Rip. Turnbull was decent. But, yeah, no one was uh, beating Jocelyn because that's a playmaker. Or, uh, yeah, it is a playmaker. That was a uh, franchise, I meant to say. All right, fun stats, come on. Oh, le oh, baby. Let's go. Four guys with 200 hits. You love to see it. The kids are bringing back oh, only one guy, but there's Duke. There's the Duke. <laughs> I'm keeping him for all time, man. I don't care. He'll, he'll get pushed out eventually, but he's got, oh, nice. 69 fighting skill. He's probably lost every single fight, but it's the heart, baby. It's the heart. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's take a look at who we're going up against here in the uh, Vancouver Canucks. Probably a team that's going to kick our ass, but you know what? We're in the playoffs. We're getting a taste. A little cup of coffee. Patterson, Miller, Heglinder. My goodness. Uh, DeBrusque, Berard, Garland. Okay, they fall off. But again, so do we. <laughs> and we don't even have the same amount of depth. We have a better defensive core, though. They got a better goaltender. They're pretty much better in every single... Oh, my... Oh, yeah. And Hughes isn't... Oh, my goodness. Wait, yeah. I was like... What? It, something fell off. Yeah, Hughes is just injured. So, they have a... We still have a better defensive core, honestly. Yeah, you compare them to our team. Again, we do not have the same amount of top six depth or overall depth. They kick our ass in that regard. Uh, defensively, we got them beat. But that's about it. Even... Yeah. Ugh. It's, it's a tough... It's going to be a tough go. No matter what, it'll be a tough go. So, uh, <laughs> hope for the best. They got home ice advantage. You never know. We could be the cheese. We could be the cheese. Game one. Oh, right. We didn't even have Blair. <laughs> we got Veekland in here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's our 94 point man coming. Oh, he's down to an 86 now. Whatever. He's back in the lineup, baby. We won that game, by the way. <laughs> 4 to 2. Game two, are we the cheese? All right, we got Glenn. He leaves his side. No, we lost game two, five, three. Game three. We split on the road at least. Oh my goodness, five, one in game three. Game four. No way. Oh my God, a shutout. We're up three games to one. The sim engine is a... Sim engine is a... Please. <laughs> I know where Duke is. 
Oh no! <laughs> Crap! <laughs> no! Oh no! They forced game seven. Oh no! Now it's not a joke. Oh no! We gotta play. I'm just leaving the lines, dude. What? Whether? Yeah, we don't have that much flexibility. We gotta leave the lines. We gotta hope for the best here. Spokane Spooky Boys in game seven on the road. Kill that. That's a. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, we killed it. But they got a lot of shots off that. It's their period so far, but Havanov, big shot from the slot makes it one nothing. Oh my goodness, are we going to do this? I feel bad for them, because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm internally raging if I'm Vancouver right now. That it even got to this point, and that they had to come back from down three to one. Three games to one. It ain't over yet, though. It's a one goal lead. They get another power play. Another long one. Once again, they cannot capitalize on it. Who the hell is taking these long power plays? Are they double minors or majors? Jeez. But we get out of the first. Wait, was that the second? Oh my god, that was the second. We're in the third. Wait a sec. Glenn? Power play? I thought for sure that was still going to be like the first because it's just the, the score line. I wasn't even thinking. Oh my god, Glenn. Glenn. Oh, don't do it to him. Oh, Berard. Berard ties it up. No, come on, we need one more. One more bit of offense. No! <laughs> oh, shit. And our offense couldn't get the job done. The goalie duel ends with Vancouver overwhelming Glenn. And we blow a 3-1 series lead that we probably should have never had. <laughs> Let's be honest. We should have never had that 3-1 series lead. Oh my goodness, though. Look at that. One goal game, one goal game. We got, we got goalied at the end. Those last two games, we got absolutely goalied. Oh, tough. That's tough. I'm so proud of the boys, though. I, yeah, we didn't deserve to win that series, but we were so close that I wanted it just for the lulls. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> positive ratio. <laughs> the Leafs power play. Perfect penalty kill, though. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Literally the Leafs power play. Like, like that's not even an exaggeration. Oh, j what? Jams. <laughs> the grinder. He had eight points. Yeah, the 76 offensive awareness guy. Oh, oh, great, great game. Fantastic game. Uh, seven points for Holland. Havanov had six. Emerson with five. Who? What the f <laughs> Duke. Duke outscored Blair, Petroline, and Clubber to end turn. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's your issue. Your main guys. Absolutely, we're trash. How about defensively? Johansson did good. Dupont, I know he's a rookie and all, but uh, Mr. 92 OFD, you need to produce. <laughs> oh, God. We wasted Grace and Glenn. Oh, my God. A 934, <laughs> and we wasted it. Oh, goodness. I mean, we weren't ready. But, hey, we got a taste. We now are going to know what it's going to take to win at this level. I did not check progress support, so let's go ahead and do that before we push. Um, yeah, push for the, uh, yeah, again, I don't, are those things, temp I think, I don't know if they're temporary or they, they lock in. Like, do they keep all the, I never know. I think they actually lock in, because when the Philly one, we had guys with, like, super high puck controls, so, and we, we know we did that, so maybe they do stay. Pretty crazy, though. Awareness is going up. That's what you want. Yeah, I, it's hard to kind of tell whether this is real or it's just going to be all of that stuff there's a lot of stack growth in there too so i don't know it's good it's hard, a lot harder to look at uh the uh, progress reports now oh recent and that's some great growth out of him all right skip all these let's just go by this boss oh my god he's actually gonna make it might be a good solid backup rasmussen mcquade I'm, I'm looking for like guys to jump out but yeah there's not really much barch yeah. The main jumper was Ristanen, and everyone else is just kind of there. But we got some solid growth. Guys who are on pace. Stuff like that. Um, I will... Uh, I don't have to do any of the off-season focus here. I can, I can honestly do all of it in the next video, which I'm gonna do. Yeah, because, yeah, I want to hustle to the draft here. Just, again, all those freaking crashes screwed up my timeline this morning. Uh, what the hell was I doing? Draft class. I just want to take a look, see what Auto Scout did for us. Two high goaltenders. A high. He's gonna be high four. Look at that, dude. Oh, it's a goalie. No, no, it's also a skater and another goalie. Auto Scout is fine. 
Auto scout is fine. Like, that may even be my scouting tutorial. Just use auto scout. It's actually pretty fucking good. There's two low elites right there. Yeah. We're gonna pick up a lot of good stuff. That's that's gonna be probably a low elite. Five year ETA, yeah. Dude. Like auto scout's actually pretty based in this. Just cause and it also feels like your personal scouting is actually much tougher. Dude, we, look at the spread we got. We we're locked in. We're friggin' locked in. It's gonna be difficult for our own pick. But let's see. Maybe not though, because I missed this guy. Uh no, we're not gonna have that pick. Oh, that sucks. We're gonna miss him. An elite grinder. Oh my god. Oh, why? Oh, why'd we make the playoffs? <laughs> why didn't we just miss by a little bit? That's oh my goodness, yeah. Auto Scout is based. Auto Scout is actually based. Alright, let's get to the draft. So yeah, we are uh, gonna be nowhere in the mix there, and obviously we can't trade up, so yeah, we're missing all those, like, the medium elite steals and stuff like that, but, uh, that, that's the breaks for missing, the, for making the playoffs. Blame the EA Sim, which I will. And of course, the guy in first place, they get bumped back to three. Alright, we'll skip that. We will look at player retirements. Giroux, Duchesne, Kadri, Eric Carlson, Zuccarello, Logan Couture, wow. Late till he's 41 with that deep groin injury, huh? Carlson, Everly, Tarasenko. Wow. Yeah. Got some names going now. Got some names going now. Goalies. Bobrovsky, Quick, Anderson, Mrazek. Wow. Even Anton Forsberg. A lot of names biting the dust after this season. Riley becomes a coach. No one becomes scouts. We did lose a, uh, a coach. All righty, let's get to the pre-draft interviews here. All right, why now? What am I even doing? Yeah, uh, I can't. It's so sucky. Like, oh, I'm gonna miss these guys. <laughs> Our pick's gonna be somewhere around here. We can still get some pretty good stuff. There's a guaranteed grinder right here who's gonna be a top six. Ooh, he might be someone to grab. A winger, two-way guy. There's a lot. There, yeah, we look. Look how good the fucking scout. Oh. There's also this guy, three-year ETA, but 19, and we don't really need goaltenders. <laughs> the second rounder may be tough as well. Oh, the one-year ETA. Oh, I can get this guy for sure, but we're missing out on the one-year ETA guy. He's just going to be, and actually, that guy might be a little bit too late. We'll see, though. Let's just jump into the draft. I got, a, I got a decent amount of pins. Don't really care about interviewing. We had such a great spread of players. Uh, I am going to check when that second is, because I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be way too late with how we make, made the playoffs and stuff. It's probably even too late for the other guy. Yep, 52. That sucks. <laughs> we got the 19 and the 52. We're going to have to kind of live off of the steals here, but that's okay, because, you know, look at, look at what we have. We don't really, and even Clubbertan's made it. Like, yeah, he's 24, but he's a middle sixer. Right? He's a middle sixer. And he can he can turn into even more. He's still got a little bit of growth left in him. Like he's he's already kind of a middle six type guy. He got 30 goals. Kavanaugh bounced back down. Okay. Now, now would be a good time to try to sign him then. I don't know. Yeah, like we're we're pretty good for like the top top tier talent. Alright, anywho. That's tough. We got the 19 here. We're missing. Yep. Oh, that was an OFD. I think there's more. Yeah, there's the grinder, 64. Then there's. Oh my god. Oh, what? Holy shit. What a draft class. This is like the. Uh, what was it? The 2005 when it was like Getzloff, Perry, Burns, like all those guys. This is what it is with a franchise in there too. That this is that draft class. I think that was twenty two thousand five. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, dude. Do I take a chance and try to look for an elite? The only problem is none of these guys can be elite, <laughs> which sucks. All right, what the heck do I need most of all? They're all three year ETA. I'm pretty sure. No, that guy's two year, but he's a winger playmaker. What do I need? What could I use most? 
feel like it might be role players. So here's the thing. Playmaker. Power forward. Sniper. Playmaker. Sniper. Sniper. Let's see what McLaren is. Power forward. Emerson is a sniper. Jams is the only grinder that we have up. All right, yeah, lost his uh, thingy again. Ristanen is another... Oh, Ristanen, I love it. Another grinder making their way up. Rasmussen, another grinder, sure, but he's not making it. We're, uh, I'm looking at full grinder line here. Yeah, we need a lot more role players. To be fair, we also need two ways, but... Well, I have two ways when I get... Oh, what if we just had a third line of fucking grinders? What if, huh? Oh, two. I wish this guy was a righty. But, uh... Yeah, okay, so he's there. Well, Alright, let me take a look at Lazar, but I don't need... Yeah. No. No, I'm gonna go with the grinder. Please don't be top nine. Top six, 65. <laughs> Another grinder. He's 17. He's got 70 face-offs. He's built decently. Maximus Corbin. We're building up our role players. And we, unfortunately, are going to miss those other amazing guys, too. Yeah, I don't have, I have those off game. All right, let's see what else went, because that was kind of nuts. Did Was there any other medium elites? I don't think so. I think it was too late. Yeah, there's not, but, oh, no, that's the goalie we knew about. Yeah, that's still insane. What a first round that was. Ridiculous. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Yeah, there's that guy. Come on, let the other one slide. No, okay, and he, and he was a low six anyway, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I... Ugh. These guys are not going to be low elites. So, question is, what do I, do I start going for the other guys? It's mostly goalies, though. Yeah. <laughs> Got a medium elite playmaker at 88. I could get him with the next pick, but that's a little risky. It is a little risky to wait. Because our next pick's going to be 85. Or, no, 86. Because Seattle was, no, Seattle was 32. Yeah, we are the 33. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm. Uh, it's too risky. It's too risky to wait, and there's nothing really good here, so why bother? And then this will allow me to pick up a possible high elite goalie. Ugh, I'm not even going to bother. I'll grab something else. Yeah, like, yeah, I can get another one here. Eh. I don't know. He should be high elite, given that he's going to be five-year ETA at that point. But I can't, like, you, I can't use him for value, so there's no freaking point. I might just blind pick. Yeah, I might blind pick another medium around where Saad is. He's a, another center playmaker, five-year ETA, 18. He's from a European league. Anyway, just snag him there. We'll look for another guy around that. It is 85, but I wasn't going to risk it. It probably would have been fine, but I, like, I'm simply not risking that. Okay, nothing else popping up. Let's see if we can find anything that might be goalie. Oh, hello. This guy's going to be it. If he's showing franchise, right? If he's showing fran... Oh, he, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to think. Wait. Oh, yeah, there's another guarantee. I forgot. Shit. What do I want more? Ugh, that's a two-way. This is another sniper, which I need less of, but he's a guarantee. God damn it. Mm. But also, this guy could <laughs> not be um, a two-way, which is what I'd prefer. I don't, I don't know, because it, like, maybe, oh, he's got great character work at the compete later. He's really small, and that always lends me to think he's a skill guy. I gotta go with the safe pick here. I'm gonna go uh, Yadavinen. I think the other guy is gonna be an elite. I really do. I'm gonna look back in a sec. Let me look back. I have a, I have a, because he's showing franchise. Like, anytime they show franchise, they're usually elite, and it's very rare that they're showing franchise. I could be wrong. No, he was. And he was a playmaker, though, right? He should be 5'8". Yeah, he was a player. Yeah, so I did make the right call. Uh, I went with a safer bet. I, he wasn't a two-way, but yeah, he was an elite, so I was correct about that. Starter went. There's the elite goaltender. High, yeah, high elite goaltender. And we can grab ourselves an elite goaltender here. Maybe. Why not? I mean, it's guaranteed. What else am I going to grab? I can look, but uh, I don't think we're going to see a trend here. 
Yeah, we're already into the top six territory. Is he an 18? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, 19. Okay. Um, I did have one of those guys coming up, but I think actually... I... No, no, we got one more pick. So, yeah, I'll grab the goalie here. This goalie. Oh, I don't even have pinned hilariously. And then I can grab... Oh, no, I can't grab this guy. Hmm. Uh, I know it's a playmaker, but I honestly prefer the skaters. We already have goalies. I really, really don't. I can grab this guy with the next pick anyway. Yeah, I don't need the other guy. This guy's got gem. Yeah, he's going to be, you know, one year older, but yeah. I'm going to grab what do you see here. I prefer the I prefer the skater, even though he's like another playmaker. Uh, yeah, I prefer the skater. Because again, our goaltending situation is pretty damn good. All right, there's another top six. He's got to be 20 or 19 at 57 overall. So maybe we can find one of those. We either do that or go with the goaltender. There's two. I don't trust this anymore. And I have a guy who's a guarantee. Oh, yeah, especially showing a high fringe right there. All right, let's just grab a guy's burger here. 53, 19, but again, he's at least got gem, so he's got a... Potentially a, a lot, a lot of growth to him. So all the way back. Or not. Okay, another elite goalie. I did want to see that other high. Oh, he was a high elite. But tw 20 years old, 52 overall, right? Like, yeah, I don't know. Is, is that better than the guy we got who's 19? Medium elite? But like. S similar overall, you just got an extra year. A lot of goalies. This was an incredibly strong draft class. Um, yeah, Guyas. Uh, can I get him with my next pick? Crap, I don't know if I can. He's at what? 213 or something? 217. Well, I can't get him if I was correct. And But there was another guy here I wanted to take a gander at, which is Day. Work ethic maturity, five year ETA. Ooh. And there's Guyas here who I will miss out on, and he's not a guarantee, but pretty damn close. I'm still gonna go with him. Yeah, oh, he's actually 50, yeah, well, at 58 overall at 19. You know what? That's not bad. He's actually built pretty decently, too. His awarenesses are good, at least. Cool. All right, up we go to the 217 now, where I'll look for one more potential low elite here. Radulov, 19, five, uh, not guaranteed five year, but it's pretty damn close. I think I just grab him because he was very close in ranking to the other guy. And he's 19, same, same situation. Do it. Just don't think about it. Ah, damn. All right, I'm a slow sim, see if I missed anything. I doubt it. But I'll go for it anyway. Enforcer! Since we are so close to the end, I do want to see if there was something potentially like a blind pick that I could have grabbed. But that guy made the most sense to me. Like it was, he was very similar ranking. He was 19. Damn. Please. Ah, oh, damn. So I did, yeah, I had the right idea. I had the right idea. I just took the wrong guy. I should have maybe looked a little bit more, but he was like right next to him in the ranking. And again, usually they come in bunches. Damn. But that's okay. This was still a really good draft, all things considered, both in the strength of the draft class and who we drafted. Like we we made out kind of like bandits. Again, could have been like one pick better, but hey, we're, we're a playoff team now, baby. We are a playoff team now. So then, see, I can do all the offseason focus here. Um... Yeah, I'll be doing that pretty much on my own, just boosting, you know, where the weaknesses are. Pretty standard stuff, so I'll be doing that off camera. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.